हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ अमृत पाल सिंह वेलकम टू माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ अपाचे काफ़ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ वी कैन कनेक्ट अपाचे काफ़ विद ट्विटर सो दैट्स अ रीज़न आई हैव ऑलरेडी ओपन अप द डेवलपर पेज ऑफ ट्विटर आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट इफ़ यू आर फ्रॉम अ ट्विटर इफ यू आर हैविंग अकाउंट ऑन ट्विटर यू मस्ट बी हैव दिस नॉलेज ऑल्सो दैट वन कैन गेट द डेटा ऑफ ट्विटर यूजिंग द ट्विटर डिवेलपर अकाउंट दैट्स अ रीज़न आई हैव ओपन अप दिस डिवेलपर पेज हेयर uh you need to log in uh, you need to sign in here using your uh, twitter credentials and you need to create an app here once you have a app available once you have app created then twitter will give you four keys i'll i'll be telling you in a while what are those four keys you'll be getting the access tokens to to uh, get the uh, to assess the twitter's data for that reason i have opened up this page so, so i'm again repeating uh, if you have a twitter's account you need to log in to this page using your twitter's account and then you need to click on create app you need to create a app after answering some of the questions they will ask and then uh, they will uh, like uh, uh, verify your application and then it will uh, the twitter will give you the access to the four tokens so after having the access tokens ready then you can uh, connect your uh, apache kafka with the twitter okay so next page which i have opened it here is authentication once you have the once you have those uh, keys available with you then you need to get your uh, uh, account authenticated then the, then we need to authenticate your keys with the twitter so for that reason we need to use authentication method so here uh, that's the reason i have opened up this page you can see it here they already have mentioned that twitter apis handle enormous amount of data the way we ensure data uh, is secure for developers and there are few method for authentication and, and on this page you have they mentioned the authentication methods so why i am showing this to you because uh, i'll be using uh, the authentication method which is specified here in my code so objective of today's practical is will will be linking our apache kafka with the twitter using python and uh, the in which uh, in which uh, like order will be getting a data will be let's suppose i i will specify one keyword based upon that keyword or that hashtag i i want to find um, uh, which which twitter id have has uh, uh, tweeted that uh, uh, tweeted about that keyword and uh, at what time at what date uh, at which place and how many have retweeted and how many have favorited that tweet this is the objective so let's start with this uh, so please don't don't forget to create an account in here so that you can proceed to the next step right okay so to understand for better understanding i have uh, i have prepared one document for you in which i'll be uh, telling you that how we can uh, carry out the steps for this right so in this case uh, the first step is the first step is to get the required libraries okay the first step for uh, kafka twitter integration is to get the required libraries uh, so because uh, like we need to specify some libraries th uh, through which we can assess the twitter's data so like uh, by default you need actually three uh, different packages for this one is twipy one is python twitter one is python kafka okay so which we need to install with the pip okay once you have a libraries ready then we need to set up our twitter in this step we need to uh, specify our keys we, uh, which uh, we will be, will be getting from developers account and then uh, we need to also get our twitter's data authenticated right third step the third step is uh, like uh, because uh, in my case i'm also looking for that time at which the tweet was made so uh, i'll be using one uh, function which will be converting the time in, uh, which will be converting the uh, uh, data you can see uh from the uh, string format to date time and from date time to the string format for that reason we'll be using python's strp time and strf time right so you can see it here i've mentioned it here that strp time means string parser this will convert a string format to date time and strf time means string formatter uh, this will format a date time object to the string format okay step 4 is uh, after we having this thing ready with us then we can specify our uh, uh, kafka's uh, producer then we can specify under the producer what's my kafka broker and what's my topic name uh, again i'm saying this thing that if you're joining me in this video i recommend it to i recommend you to visit my previous video where i have defined the terminology of kafka okay so to get to know what's the kafka broker and what's the topic name and we can also specify in, the, in addition to it optional partition as well that how many partitions we want of that uh, data okay 
After this, the step five is we need to now um, produce and send the records to Kafka broker and we'll be getting the uh, data in this format only. We will be uh, getting data uh, of these six things, ID created at, uh, followers account, followers count, uh, location, favorite count and retweet count. So we'll be first querying the Twitter API object, then we'll be extracting relevant information and then we'll be formatting and sending data to the prop, uh, some topic name which will be specified in the uh, fourth step on the Kafka broker. And last step is we need to now automate the task. We need to be performing this task every couple of minutes and wait in between, right? So this is nothing but the uh, steps that we need to follow for this practical. Okay, let me now show you the actual code for this. First of all, we are getting the libraries, right? We are we are, we are using here uh, Tweepy and we are using a Python Kafka. Uh, from the Kafka, we are importing Kafka consumer and Kafka producer. Afterwards, we are setting up the Twitter. These four keys you'll get from the Twitter developers account. Afterwards, uh, we are now authenticating our uh, credentials through this uh, like specified code. It is like a uh, pretty much it's have a same syntax uh, which has been specified by the Twitter. So we are using a similar syntax. Afterwards, we are now creating the API object by passing in the auth information. Whatever the information we get it here, we need to pass it to the uh, API object. Afterwards, when we have these things are ready, then we need to, um, uh, from a date time um, package, we need to import date time. And here we are just using the normalize function, which I've specified here as well, the helper function to normalize the time. We are using ST, uh, strp time and we are using strf time, means we are just converting the string to the date time and date time to string in this format. This is nothing but a uh, format of year, month, date and hour, minute, seconds, right? In this way. Afterwards, we are specifying our Kafka producer credentials, like uh, under which bootstrap server we need to link to. So it is the uh, local host colon 9092 and uh, topic name, uh, which I've already been created before this practical, it is Trump. Okay. Afterwards, the next step is to get the Twitter data. So what on, on what basis uh, I'll be getting my data? As I'm a bigger fan of cricket, uh, under cricket, I'm a, uh, I am I admire Saurav Ganguly. If you're from India, you must know what, who is Saurav Ganguly. He, uh, like, uh, he's uh, our ex-skipper um, of Indian team. So like I would like to search for BCCI or Saurav or Ganguly. Right? I would like to search for these three keywords. Uh, of this, uh, I'm looking for the six things. I'm looking for the, this six things here. So we have specified and we are keep on appending the things. So what the semicolon indicates, because we want the data in the, uh, we, we want the fields separated by the semicolon. Uh, it means user ID semicolon, created ID semicolon, followers account semicolon in this way. That's why we are appending the things it here. So we want these uh, entire thing in our output. Afterwards, we are encoding that uh, whatever record we're getting, we need to encode into specified format so that can it so that it can be understood by uh, by the, by our uh, machine, right? Whatever the uh, suitable format we need to uh, have, we need th that's the reason we are using encoding. We are converting from string to the particular specified format. Uh, like in the we, we used to have a Unicode format, UTF format, so we need we need to specify into some uh, uh, particular format. Afterwards, let like last step, we are just uh, providing that um, uh, we need to, we are just automating the task at what interval we need to uh, run uh, our, uh, uh, we got, we want our output to be shown on the screen and we are specifying in between the sleep interval. You can see that here we are using sleep and we are using a periodic work, getting data every couple of minutes. So this will mark, this actually marks the end of this code. I hope it is fine because this uh, code is corresponding to this six steps. Right. That's the reason I've defined the steps earlier then so that the understanding code will be easier for you. Okay. After we have a Python script ready, it is the name is mod.py extension. We need to first of all open up our zookeeper. Right. You know that whenever we are dealing with the Kafka, we need to open up the zookeeper. So first of all, go to the Kafka home and run the zookeeper script. Right. So do not close the terminal in a new terminal. We need to now again go to the Kafka home and run the, uh, the Kafka server. Okay. And third terminal now will be running my script with the keyword Python space mod dot py. Enter. So it is executing here. In meanwhile, you can open up the new terminal. Here you'll be getting answer. First of all, go to the Kafka home and you need to open up your consumer. Right. So we hear the we are using our uh, topic name is Trump. This is my bootstrap server, which have been specified in the code. And I want to uh, get the data from beginning. Press enter. 
you'll be getting data right here you can see i'm getting data so it is it will keep on coming unless you stop it you can see it that uh, this is my twitter id the who has uh, tweeted this uh, regarding the uh, ganguly or um, bcci you can see that most of the uh, most of the uh, location is in uh, india itself and most of the, uh, in the india uh, they are actually uh, tweeting from uh, like uh, west bengal because uh, saurav ganguly resides or lives in the west bengal that's the reason like most of the tweets from the uh, bangla india so we are getting this twitter id uh, sorry twitter id of that person and at, at what date is the today's date 16 uh, 420 uh, then we are getting the time at what time they have uh, tweeted and uh, what's the retweet count and what's the favorite count so everything will be available and it is separated by the semicolon so we will be getting six fields in one row and it will be unstoppable unless you stop it because we have automated the task right so like most of the tweets from india only because he's a, a personality from india that's the reason you're getting more tweets from india only i hope that you must have understood this practical in case if you have any doubt whatsoever please you can comment on my video uh, i'll be uh, i'll be putting all the uh, necessary links under my description box thanks for watching see you next video